some reason with Todd, I didn't uh, didn't do it. How did you fly with Todd? Ah, uh, it's been a few weeks ago. You fly how much a week? I try to fly once a week. That's my goal. When we get down here, we'll do a uh, run-up. That's when we kind of check the uh, motor and the magnetos. Does the GoPro pick up audio or mics? Yep. Wow. I'm running it. Uh, I've connected this cord into through this system here. So all of our conversation will be on there. <laughs> does it Does it only pick up talking? Yeah. How does it distinguish talking from noises? Well, on my headset, I have noise canceling, so you don't have that. I have it on mine, so it hears all this engine noise and stuff, and it just knows that we don't want that, and it cancels but that But mine out. doesn't. Mine only does talking, because I was making noises but no words, and it wouldn't stay. Oh, the, the voice here? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I kind of position a little bit into the wind. All right. <laughs> So we're going to throttle to 1700. Go ahead and close it. All right. And then I do Is that in? Yeah. Doesn't look very in. Yeah. So I'm turning. I've got uh, two magnetos. I turn it. See how it works. Looks good there. Light drop there. Suction is good. Oil pressure is good. Fuel is good. Take it back down. I'm gonna go full rich. Seminar. This to alt. Pyro. Alright. We're good. Hot very fast. DeKalb County, Auburn traffic, Cessna 69200, departing runway 9 for a southbound departure. DeKalb County, Auburn traffic. We make sure nobody's coming in. Did you, did you practice your pilot voice? Oh, yeah. That <laughs> uh, is the DeKalb County traffic. You don't have your feet on the pedals, right? No. Okay, make sure. Nobody's coming in. So they don't even give you the okay? You just... Yeah, this is a non-towered field. So we have to announce our own. Who did you just announce to? Whoever's around, who might be landing, who's taking off. All right, so... Wind looks like it's coming over here. What's the noise? I don't know. Oh, I think my seatbelt's stuck in the door. Yeah, but it's oh. Oh. You got your door? Huh? All right, well, we're going to have to get it out when we get up. You open the door? Yep. Was that a good takeoff? No. Little, little squirrely. That yeah, seems to be very, uh... Tipsy turvy. Turn that to you a little bit. But air conditioning? Yeah.
Fort County helicopter. Uh, one Sierra goes on a uh, right downwind for runway nine. Fort County. Different airport. Advise on initial contact, you have Victor. Victor. Four wing time information, Victor 1454 Zulu, wind 130 at 6, visibility 10, few clouds 2600, 25000 scattered, temperature 22, 2.13, altimeter 29 or 9 or 8, visual approach runway 14 in use. All aircraft and Bantu are over flying Fort Wayne. Contact approach control on 127.2. Advise. All right, this is the frequency for Fort Wayne approach. Oops, uh, let's go right here. Good morning, Fort Wayne approach, Transat 0191, level at 10,000, we have Victor. Transat 0191, Fort Wayne approach, expect vectors, visual approach, runway 14. Roger, vectors for the visual for 14, Transat 0191. Okay, what you can do is help me uh, by, uh, you know, every scanning, if you see any uh, airplanes, you let me know. Is that downtown over there? Yep, I'm getting ready to go over there now. Fast. Piper 548, traffic 11 o'clock, 4 miles, circling altitude indicates 1,700. Look. All right, here I go. I'm going to... Fort Wayne approach, Cessna 69200. Cessna 69200, Fort Wayne approach. Yeah, we're about uh, eight miles uh, north of uh, Parkview North uh, at 2,700 feet uh, with Kilo. We'd just like to fly uh, over the city and back north again to Auburn. Cessna 200, Squawk 4607. 460. Squawk 4607, Cessna 69200. So that there will be able to help him see who where I am. He'll come back and say radar contact. Cessna 200, radar contact, five miles south of Auburn Airport, four in altimeter, two nine or nine or seven. Proceed as requested. Roger, Cessna 69200. All right, so he says go ahead and do what we've requested. See the downtown buildings? Yeah, we'll just go out around those. We'll come back, go up to kind of like Waterloo area or whatever. But you can kind of, you can see Parkview Hospital. Piper 548, traffic no factor. Thanks. He'll be looking for traffic for us, so if he sees somebody, he'll let me know where the traffic is. Trans Auto 191, descendant pots discretion, maintain 4,000. Pause discretion out of 4,000, Trans Auto 191. Calm out here. Huh? It's pretty calm out here. Normally, it is, uh, not normally, but some days you get it where you're really bouncy. Yeah. This is a good day to fly. D 
you see anything you'd like me to go over to. Like up here to the uh, right here, you can see Smithfield. That's another airport. Uh, two zero zero traffic, nine o'clock, three miles southbound altitude, then the cage two thousand two hundred. Looking for traffic, Cessna six nine two zero zero. So he says there's traffic out here, southbound at nine o'clock, which is like right. Oh yeah. Trans Auto one ninety one, flight heading two three zero. I see him. Two three zero, Trans Auto one ninety one. We have the traffic in sight, Cessna 6900. Cessna 200, Roger, thank you. See him, right? Straight across this road, right now. Yeah, I see him. So that's what we have to keep an eye on. Sears 1, Charlie Delta, contact Toledo approach 134.35. What is he doing? What is he doing? Good day. Now he's just flying. 3435, good day, sir. So how does this one guy handle all these people if they have more than... He's got a big radar thing and... But how can he talk to each one? Oh man, I'll play some stuff on the uh, internet and it is crazy how busy sometimes they get. I lost it, I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's just right down there. Black one there. I've landed there once at that rent airport. You can see right out there the big open area. Yeah, uh, the other airport. That's Fort Wayne International. There's a tower on this side. You can kind of see that's mm. that's him up in there. We could actually go over there and land if we wanted to, which I should at times practice. So you don't have to plan anything, you just show up at a place and say, I would like to land? Yeah, you can just call and say... Parker Skywest, 4774, 1600, climbing 4000, runway heading. Skywest, 4774, Fort Wayne departure radar contact, climb maintain 10000, turn right, direct Muncie on course. I maintain 10000, right turn, direct Muncie on course, Skywest, 4774. Four in approach, good morning. Skyline 55 C Founder with you at 7,000 feet. I've got the automated weather at Kendallville. Yeah, I don't have that traffic anymore. The Skyline 5535 November, Fort Wayne approach, Fort Wayne altimeter 2907. Descend to maintain 3,000 and say approach request. Yeah, it's 7 for 3, and uh, I'll tell you what, uh, let's see if we can't get into 10, uh, the RNAV 10 at the Kendallville. We we'll should see the uh, Fort Wayne uh, Tin Cap Stadium. That's kind of neat to see. Five November, Roger. Proceed to direct Zvar for the RNAV One Zero approach, Kinnaville. Okay, direct Zvar out of seven for three. See five November. It looks so much smaller. Yeah. Yeah, I see the stadium. Yeah. There's Science Central. The smokestacks that are different color. Yeah. Right now it's behind the uh, wing spar. It'll be on that side where all those oh, cars yeah. are driving. Okay. Trans Auto 191, uh, descend to maintain uh, 3000, Fort Wayne Airport, 11 o'clock, 15, or Christian 1, 3 miles. Alright, down to 3000, we have the field site, Trans Auto 191. 
Trans Auto 191, cleared visual approach, runway 14. Clear visual approach, 14, Trans Auto 191. Skywest 4774, contact Chicago Center 119.85, good day. 1985, good day, Skywest 4774. Piper 548, radar services terminated. Remain on that squat code and contact Indianapolis Approach 120.65. Piper 548, Fort Wayne approach. Go ahead. And Piper 548, radar services terminated. Remain on that squat code and contact Indianapolis approach 120.65, 2065. 2065, thanks. So if we put our thing at 2065, we'll be on Indianapolis. This number? No, this one. Now this is our squawk code. He wanted that guy to keep the same squawk code, change his radio frequency, and then he can contact Indianapolis. Trans Auto 191 traffic, 11 o'clock, 5 miles, is a Cessna circling over downtown 2500. I'm looking for the traffic, Trans Auto 191. He's talking about us. I'm going to give him a high wing to see. What do you say about us? There's traffic over, he's just pointing us out. Maybe we'll still go up to the lakes. Trans Auto 191, traffic no factor, contact Tower 119.1. Good day. 191, have a good day, Trans Auto 191. University of St. Francis uh, football field. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Let me turn a little bit. Yeah, I see it now. That's pretty cool. Wow. So, is this the elevation you typically stay at? No, uh, I would go higher. You do? Yeah. We're just staying low so you can see things. But you got to stay a thousand feet above the uh, ground. the ground. The ground's at about let's say a thousand. Three five November cross Evar at or above three thousand. What is our elevation right now? Runway one zero approach straight We're about in Kendallville. Fifteen hundred, sixteen, okay. seventeen hundred feet 3, above 000. the ground. Clear. Straight in one zero Kendallville three five November. How fast are we going? We are doing uh, only 85 knots, which is about 100 miles an hour. That, we got to Fort Wayne so fast, though. Yeah. There's an airplane on the taxiway. It might be taking off. We'll have to watch. Where's Where's Jefferson Point? Uh, it should be just right in. That's the Coliseum. Coliseum, right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see Chipotle. <laughs> uh, time. Jefferson Point is is uh, west or east of Paul it's Sam? South. South? Uh, south? I know, but direct south or? Southwest. Really? You want to take a look and see? No, we can go to the other to the lakes or Waterloo. Yeah. There 
there's a bump. Huh? That was a little bump. What is this? What uh, neighborhood community? Oh, we got to be... Uh, Grable? Out here's Leo. You want to go over Chase's place? Right here is the road takes you right out to Leo. <laughs> we can go over our house on the way. Tell mom to come out and take a look. Uh, guys still out there. There's Park View. Metropolis. So this here is the that's the bypass around the city. No, what is this? Oh, that's uh, Chapel Hill Road. Some kind of a reservoir, that square body of water. What's that? That one's really green. Is it, I can't tell if it's water. Or... Yeah. Might be uh, algae. Cessna 69200 has the airport in sight. We request frequency change. Cessna 200, squat VFR, frequency change for you today. Thank you, Cessna 69200. I can't even hear it in my head. I don't know why. Neither can I. Your own talking, I can't. No, I can't hear that. I wonder if I have to set something. All right, so... Uh, now we go to uh, DeKalb. Kokomo traffic, Archer 2141, Juliet 20 miles to the south, inbound for landing 23, Kokomo. Kokomo. Thanks for traffic, Skycatcher 52170 is a, a midfield down one for runway 900.
Gap County, Auburn traffic, Cessna 69200 is at 2,700 feet, uh, passing the field on the uh, east uh, for a northbound departure. Decap County, Auburn traffic. LA Valley. Griffith traffic, Warrior 4382, Lima. We're about uh, three miles to the east. We over the top, 2,300 inbounds at Lansing. Griffith. So they, they, there's a lot of airports that are sharing the same number, so you have to listen. Thank you, Trip 172, Bravo, Fox, Trust, turn down one for runway four. And, and make sure that they're talking about this field, not somebody else. So get on your phone and call mom and tell her to go out and look for us. Left downwind runway 18, Nome Valley. I gotta figure out uh, which road it is. I won't be able to hear her. Oh, you can take your headset off a little bit. Hello? Yeah, Mom, we're headed over the house soon. If you want to come out and Wave. traffic, that's your profile is just back. Uh, yeah. So, bring your traffic. No, not yet, I don't think. We're, We're almost there. there. Thank you, traffic. One, seven, two, Bravo, Fox, Trap, I'm Chase Burn, Way, uh, four, Hell, and Valley, Adrian. Yeah, we're still north, uh, south. But we're almost right by Bear Field. I can't see where we are. It'd be right over the top here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. No, not too bad. Um, I see our house now. Do you? Yeah, I see it. We're, com we're coming up on the closer to the shed side. All right, see ya. Should be traffic, Archer. I can't see. I try to put it on your side, so you can see it better. Uh, one seven two Bravo Fox Trap to go around for uh, runway four. Oh, I'm right over the top, am I? Yeah, well, I can see it. Seven two Bravo Fox Trap over top of the field. Climbing out of one thousand six hundred. Depart the area to the north west. Can tell if you stay in the pool or. Oh yeah, there it is. Touch beach traffic, go to 1759, southbound landing, 21, touch beach. Alright. So this is downtown Auburn. seen it yet. It's cut into a maze. Can you see the propeller? Huh? Can you see the propeller? Uh, just a little bit. You can see it when you watch the videos. Pick it up. And I cook my traffic here at 5576. We'll switch to 140. Look at it. That doesn't look like a propeller. 
It's a propeller. How come we can't see? I see there's nothing there at all. Kokomo traffic, Pat 8795 Whiskey's 10 South, gonna make right traffic for 14, Kokomo. Huh, I don't see it. Benton Harbor traffic, Cessna 1719 Delta, we're downwind 428, Benton Harbor. Pat 203 Charlie Charlie, you guys stay in the pattern there, Kokomo. Oh, here it is. Kokomo traffic, Archer 2141, Juliet, six miles to the south, going to enter a crosswind. I uh, think it is. Four, Kokomo. All right, I'm going to go over to your side. Look out. I think somebody cut a, like, uh, Larry Smith, you know, the, the uh, father of the Smith that you used to work with. Uh -huh. He cuts a mace in the uh, field there. Down here? Yeah. Traffic off the ground at Kokomo. What direction you see it? Are you oh, right down here. Straight down? Yeah, I see some lines. I think they switched. Does it look like something? Uh, it's too faint. Where they went for, where I went for Halloween to? Yeah. Maybe that's not it. I thought that was it. Nice time traffic. Helicopter, best flight nine is approaching Sophie intersection on the Arnav, Arnav, Kokomo traffic, Archer 2141, Juliet oh, 5, I need to the my entering crosswind 14, Kokomo. Reach back in my uh, bag. On the Kokomo. ends, there's a pocket with a map in it. Yep. All right, you want to hold it for a while? You got it. They just kind of keep it gentle. What is that? That noise, the high pitch. There's two people trying to talk at the same time. You're looking at this and you're trying to keep it from climbing or dropping. All right, so we're going to uh, Angola. This here tells you you're climbing, so... I'm climbing. Yeah. Just gently... Uh... This feels so much harder to control than the... Running in a little turbine right here. Kokomo traffic, Piper 8795, Whiskey's 5 South. Going to make right downwind, 1-4, Kokomo. Because we're headed straight to the wind? 118, 175. 118... What should I keep my elevation Whoa. at? 3,000. And yeah, we're getting into some rough air. We'll drop down just a little bit. Uh, oh no, that was the AWOS. What is 123. 75. Alright. That should be Angola. Alright, so I got it. Thank you. So. We'll go over by the highway because we need to be way over this way. Cold, you just kind of push it in a little bit. Where's your uh, fuel indicator? Fuel? Fly the plane from this seat? Yeah. Like, it, not even sit over there, just sit over here. Everything is the same. You got the rudders down there. 
So this is Ashley over here. But all the essential starting stuff is over there, right? Yeah. You'd have to stretch over to start it. And in uh, overseas, is it the opposite? Is it right nope. side? Nope. What if your left uh, road is switched, like Europe, or I mean UK? We don't have roads in the sky. I know, but still, they have the left side there, and then... Yeah, I, I don't think there's probably any difference, but I, I really don't know. Alright, they're just making sure I haven't heard any traffic. Have you hit a bird? No, we do not want to hit birds. Have you before? Have people? Have you? No. You don't want it. If you see birds, you let me know. 123.075, okay. So the airport is right front over here. Mm -hmm. We'll fly over midfield, then turn, go over the lakes, and head back. Why are the clouds such a dark, straight line? We're looking at a whole bunch of them this way, not looking up. This is called Tri-State, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Tri-State, Steuben County. Tri-State, Steuben County, Cessna 69200 is about uh, three miles to the south, uh, planning to fly midfield at uh, 2,800 feet. Do have a tower? No. You're just telling everybody who you are, where you're at, if somebody else is flying out here. They'll be listening. So I'm surprised I don't hear anything. I keep looking to see if oh, I got... Oh, is that Crooked Lake? Crooked's right there. You yeah. see third. We're going to get ready to go over it, and we'll see some of third, and then come along. James is right over there. See how flat everything is. You fly across flat. Indiana. Yeah. Goes on for as far as the eye can see. Alright. The runway lines up almost right over our house. The planes always come in. Alright, you see anybody? I don't see anybody. Don't hear anybody. The 
Some of these lakes have a lot of algae. Where do you think the pig farmer guy's place is? The who? The pig farmer. Oh, it's like uh, right in this area right here. It hasn't been approved yet. I'll go up here a little ways and then cut back across this way. That's Gage right up here. You can see James and Jemerson. So was this land all just uncut forest for... These lakes are all uh, made by uh, the glaciers. When the glaciers came from the north and, and melted. Pokagon. Pokagon is uh, right off that point on the other. What is that uh, pretty thick forested area right there? Oh, that's probably a, uh, I forget which park that is. The park? Yeah, it's a state park. Far away? Oh, like kayakers. That algae. Yep. Was Some there always so much algae or uh, what happened? Lily pads and stuff. There must be lily pads. You, you can see Pokagon right in there. All those buildings around that cove on the end. Uh huh. Now down here is where we are. I should get myself up a little high here. See the new house going in that great big opening. See the yellow one? The yellow pontoon thing? The yellow cover? Yeah. Yep, go to the left, about two. Okay. Oh, yeah. Our pontoon's gone. Oh, that's good. My ear got, uh, it came down too fast. back up.
we'll get up here a little high and we'll, we'll try some slow flight. See how slow I can fly. That. That's the trim on the back of the tail, which is going to get us more climbing. Still have the what is this? this is on takeoff? Yeah, that's where you want it set for takeoff. All right, so we get up to three thousand. down one again. So now I will slow it down. Once I'm in the white here, I can put 10 degrees of flap in. That slows us down some more. So I'm at 3,000 feet. I don't want to drop any more than that. So more flaps, watching the speed. You'll hear a horn go off, which means you're real close to stalling. Going real slow right now. We're just on the verge of stalling. But how, what are you giving it throttle? Just giving it enough throttle to keep us from dropping. The throttle controls the altitude. The pitch controls the speed. So if I put the speed or pitch down. My speed's going to go faster. Now I'll go full speed and then slowly bring my flaps back out. you have to pay for gas? You do in a way. Uh, um, you rent the plane and you rent it what they call wet. So when you rent it, you are paying for the plane and gas per hour. All right. And we'll take it home and go to the airport. Switch back to Auburn here. So we're going to be, we'll be up for just a little over an hour. See that shiny, like mining? Yeah. What is that? I think it's broken glass that they recycle or something. From Guardian, maybe the glass factory. I've always wondered what that is. Rain cool traffic line, 44 kilo, left down 1727, rain cool traffic. That. Oh wait. This is Ashley. That's the uh, Dollar General out or uh, distribution center. Here you can fly.
fly a little bit more. Your controls. Just don't put your feet on the rudder. I'll take care of the rudder. You're watching this. This kind of helps you. This tells you if you're going down. This is going to be your altitude, your speed. How does that tell me if I'm going down? This is your vertical speed. So if it goes this way, it means you're losing altitude. Going up, you're gaining altitude. So I want it at zero? Yeah. And uh, try to fly with one hand. Why? Use your left hand. That way, if you ever fly in this seat, because you're always using this hand for other stuff. Where's your phone? I'll take a picture of you flying. Is it on photo? Yeah. This. And you can take it oh, by okay. just moving it back. Ready? Uh huh. Might have to send some of those to me. Good. That's a fun shot. Uh huh. All right. You still got the controls. Going straight into the airport, you can see Auburn straight ahead. Still pretty close to 3,000. You're looking good there. A little bit in the bank. Take the bank back out. Take it down? Nope. I said just take the bank. You were in that turn there. What area are we over right now? Uh, probably getting right here is like Waterloo, I think. Probably should see the high school. Yeah, right there's the high school. Better tank a key traffic to Calabria. Turn this way a little bit. Number three to the south will be entering left traffic. Two to Greater Kankakee. Keep turning. Here, let me turn it just a little bit here, and then you can get the high school out your window. Fly this way, and then can you see it? Not yet. No, I see it up there. All right, so you get the controls. So you're looking at how much room is between the top of this and the All right. horizon. Oh, there went a bird. Huh? I said there went a small little bird. We just don't want to hit any of those turkey vultures. I've seen a video on. Due to one came crashing through the windshield. Schaumburg traffic, Schaumburg 2, 10 miles to the southeast, 1,500 inbound landing, Schaumburg. Can I go down a little bit? Yeah. Alright, we'll start to slowly lose some altitude. So we'll kind of head toward that Maybe direction. Maybe I can say hi to Jake. Hey Jake, you're trying to put on food on this now. What time is it? Are they at? Well, I guess it is time. 12.15. So we'll turn a little bit to your right. Tennis fields. Hey, Courts. Let's listen to the weather. Remark. Density altitude 2,100. Your house. Uh, Auburn, DeKalb County Airport. Automated weather observations. 
That's where I would go. I'd go in the field. All right, so I'm going to get a little bit this way so you will see it better than I can. I'll do a, uh, where did my phone go? Have my phone? No. Bite under your butt. If you go on the right side and then lean, I'll take a picture of you in the house. Well, I'll take... Yeah, I... You can take a picture of the house. I'll turn in here and... and tell me when to turn. I got to. <laughs> Drop something. I jumped out and landed in the pool. DeKalb County, over traffic, Cessna 69200 will be entering the left downwind for runway 9, DeKalb County, over traffic. So I need to go down to there. Okay, now I need concentration. He can't talk. Gas is on, mixtures, ridge, carby. DeKalb County, Auburn traffic, Cessna 69200 is on the left downwind for runway 9, DeKalb County, Auburn traffic. Middletown traffic, open parachute over Middletown, 5,000 feet below, have caution Middletown. I got a little low here. Cincinnati approach, fast track 1, I can DeKalb County, Auburn traffic, Cessna 69200, turning left base for runway 9, DeKalb County, Auburn traffic.
DeKalb County, Albert traffic, Cessna 69200, turning final for runway 9, DeKalb County, Albert traffic. Harbor decal traffic, 212 Delta X-ray, three miles to the west, entering for a uh, left downwind entry for 27, Harbor decal. We did it. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, it's a lot more. Uh, down. I didn't hear you. It's a lot more. I don't know. There's a bird. Yep. DeKalb County, Auburn traffic, Cessna 69200, clear to the runway, DeKalb County, Auburn traffic. You can open your window now.